Well, today is Sunday, and it is Sunday that I do regular maintenance of my tank. So I'll just um, point out to you some ways in which I maintain my tanks. First of all, I check my tank to see the hyacinth lilies if they are uh, yellow, if they are green, uh, if they are looking somewhat like this, you know, with the, the leaves are uh, all dried up and stuff. And then I will, for each of the tanks going down the stream, I'll do that. And this is not done every Sunday, but it is done on a Sunday and it's done periodically, right? So, what I will do, I will take out the water lilies that are having um, areas that are like rotten leaves, right? I will break them off and I'll throw them in the garden or uh, uh, along the wayside, right? And why I do this is because if I don't do this, they will eventually fall from the hyacinth lily that is flowing on the top of the pond and they will cause a problem whenever I am filtering or they will increase the amount of nitrates and compound that comes from dead plant leaves making it difficult for the fish to survive so I'll do this period periodically and where in event that I find that too much hyacinth lily exists within one pond I will look for the ponds with the least amount and I will change them around now um, enough said for this this is just to point out what I do right I'll get back to the rest later now the setup in this setup now um for all 14 pounds going down that's 14 55 gallon pounds i filter on a day like this now uh what i do i ha i will get a 55 gallon jump i'll cut off up to about 45 um gallons at the, um yeah 45 gallons at the top so therefore um at the top will be 45 gallons the maximum amount of water holding um in some of them will be like uh between 40 45 right I, they're usually between two to uh, two and a half inches um away from the actual top because you know i'm doing i'm living in the tropics and and um doing heavy rainfall the water might just uh, rain, rainfall might just fall in them and they might eventually flow over so um i'll get back to what i do so as to prevent that okay so i get the jump i pierce the jump drill the jump with a two a three quarter bit use a bulkhead right and um i put the bulkhead inside two areas the, the lower end which is the outflow and the upper hand which is the inflow right this is a lock off which is used to monitor the amount of flow which goes into the pump here and the pump sucks the water up into the filter here and in the filter it, 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 you have sand and, and gravel right this is how the filter works water comes from here from the tanks it goes down and usually on on, on, on youtube channels the person do the opposite way but i do it here. this way for one main reason and that is i want my pump to last long um whenever stress is placed on a pump a water pump that is it tends not to last long so the free flowing water coming from the pump is best it's best that it is gravity fed fishing and um, whoever it's coming from so what happened is that i put sand and gravel in the about three quarter of the 55 gallon jump right and the water is pumped from the pond into the jump underneath the, the gravel there's a pipe and the gravel and the sand in this jump a 
acts as a filter thus as the water flows from the jump through this pipe it go, travels all the way through the different outlets this is an outlet this is an outlet presently i am filtering my guppies tank right it's it's it will be filtered for about an hour hour and a half right so water comes to here and because yeah water comes to here right and it exits to this point which is used to control the amount of water that actually goes into the pump which goes into the filter now coming back to the bulkhead story now the bulkhead is fitted on nicely onto the the drum right and some person might say but when you do that wouldn't the fish actually be sucked up well i don't know if you can see but in the i don't know if you can see but in the the drum itself there's a there's a pipe that stretches from the bulkhead and this pipe is a half inch pipe yes and it has a cap in and it has some fine holes in it now these fine holes acts like a sieve and thus when the water is being pulled by the pump from this pond the fish doesn't go through it now with an exception of some fish such as goldfish in which i do not filter until they are probably about two or three months um there is no problem the guppies will not go through it and and the sawtail will not go through it the mullets will not go through it and the other fish in which which is in this farm on this farm will not go through it now each of these ponds have each of these ponds have water lilies now you might be saying isn't this a cheap way of maintaining a tank having filtered only once or twice per week well you must be reminded that the hyacinth lilies acts as a filter it helps to reduce the amount of nitrates and nitrites that exist within the fish pond now as the fish pools the pool some is what i call it now solid and some um, um dissolve in the water now the solids are sucked up by the pump and it is carried into the filter now these solids can't go through the rocks and the sand so eventually what will happen is that at the end of today or tomorrow i will eventually fill it up with some water and then i will release it into the garden right in the future i intend to do aquaponics wherein which it will be 24 hours filtered and water will travel through the the bed and eventually the nitrates and the nitrites will be used every single minute or second now um ponds are filtered according to height or well, based on the height of this copy tank it, it's the only one being filtered now because if i try to filter all of them together what will happen is that some of these ponds will overflow while this will lose some of its water so i filter this for about two hours and then now i will turn off the filtering system from this and so the intake of each it varies now i am filtering this um sorted tank you notice the water is going down more than it should so what i have to do i have to ensure that there is a balance so what I do, I adjust the valve so as to minimize the intake, right, the outflow, right, maximize the intake, and at the and 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 periodically the water will comes in and 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 it will fall up to the level that is required, and this will be like this for probably about an hour. It will be filtered. Okay, so the. At the bottom of the, at the base of each fish pond all 14 of them are mud dirt this mud dirt are placed in there so as to utilize the bacteria that exist in the the mud now what happened is that the 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 the, the, the mud within the, the the mud have bacteria in it 
and these bacteria help to break down the poo and with the poo being break down by the mud and by the plants and periodically be filtered by uh, a pump the fish are a little bit okay right and as you go along the stretch you will find that you have some plants some pond it seems as if it have more luscious green vegetation than others and that's probably because you have a lot more nutrients in some of them than the others this one with the least amount has some baby goldfish about 30 of them this is a growth tank that i explained to you earlier on now in this growth tank the fish will stay there for about 12 weeks and after they reach the, their size you know, probably about an inch inch and a half i will divide that 30 now into about three or four groups and i will make adjustment down the line where i will put 15 in one 15 in the other 15 in the other until they actually go to about two inches when these fish goes two inches then i will put them in the ibc toad now the ibc toad keeps them for a while and then after which i will either put them inside in an aquarium or i will actually sell them to the pet shop or sell them to anyone who desire them as i said before this fishing exercise this fishing project is a hobby not necessary to gain financial success but it's just a hobby in which i like so i just you know, adapt to it right so um next video you will see where in which i will be doing some other interesting things with these fish ones um but before i leave um enjoy the overall images that i might give you with regards to the setup of my tanks these are the pipes and top pipes bottom pipes each pipe and turn into a container has a locker a valve and this is shakes fish farm from shakes place thank you for viewing just hobby and this is as I, before I leave, this is the release valve. And should in case I need to like change water, I can change it from here. I release here, and it goes out, and it goes down into the yard. And um, as I said, I'm going to be doing aquaponics, so um, it will be released there. Then, thank you very much. Um, next video, I'll be giving an update on the pump in which I made uh, in the video before. Uh, I think it's last week, right? I'll give you an update as to the progress, as to how the tank looks, and all of that. Do have a wonderful evening, and um, stay tuned next week. Bye bye.